music thanatology is a way of connecting elements of music with what's going on with a patient's physiology. So that, for example, the pace of their breath tells me something about the pacing of the music that I might want to use. The result is a quiet and meditative um, environment created that is really tailored to what's going on physically for the patient and that changes moment by moment and that's why we bring a live musician uh, to the setting. The harp is the instrument of choice for music thanatologists because the main reason being that it's a polyphonic instrument, which means that I can play many notes at one time. So for example, like I love the saxophone, but no matter how good you are on the saxophone, you can only play one note at a time. On the harp, I can play chords and a melody and a counter melody, and I can sing all at the same time. The reason why that's important is that I never know walking in what any particular patient or situation is gonna need, and the harp gives me the most musical options at my fingertips. So for example, I can really focus on just chords. I can But maybe a situation requires more melodic movement and I can add that. Maybe harmony is called for. So the training to become a music thanatologist uh, touches on several different factors that are important as we're caring for patients. Um, the, the first is uh, a grounding in anatomy and physiology. So I often find myself telling people that going to music thanatology school is a, a bit like music school and medical school tied together. So I need to have an understanding of what's going on uh, with the different body systems and then even how those systems are changing as diseases are progressing. The second thing I need is musical facility on the harp um, with my voice um, in, and also in terms of music theory, how music is built. Um, there's also, an, it's important to understand how people are psychologically dealing with a, a terminal diagnosis, um, both themselves as patients and then also how family members are dealing with that, whether it's you know, cultural practices or, or spiritual paths that people are on. I need to understand the breadth of um, experience that people might be going through. And then another really important part of it was the maybe internal preparation for me as a, as a practitioner because sometimes I walk into difficult circumstances, whether it's grief or um, pain um, or symptom issues that people are going through. It, as their disease is progressing. And I need to be able to walk into some difficult circumstances and not be overcome emotionally myself and be a useful presence with the music. Um, so that internal preparation is actually a really important part of the music thanatology training. And then I think the final part that I would mention is I found how important it is for me to be able to share my experiences with patients and families because a lot of times people are, are going through um, a process that's new to them and having done this for many years now, I have seen a lot of the situations in, uh, with other patients and I can share that experience with patients and families to help them uh, know what to expect as they're moving along in the process.